After studying this module, we shall be able to learn the concept of public relations, understand the functions and tools of public relations, understand the public relation process, learn public's internal and external publics, and study publicity, its types, and its process. In this discussion, today we are going to study about public relations. You know an organization is working within the social system and within the social system it has to be in constant touch with the people around them, with the publics around them, with various groups around them. Hence there is a need to have a very professional approach towards managing the public relations. Public relations is the way in which the organizations and individuals communicate with the public and the media. A PR specialist communicates directly with a target audience either personally or through the media with the aim to create and maintain a positive image and to create a strong relationship with the audience. According to Q-tip, public relations is the distinctive management function which helps to establish and maintain mutual lines of communication, understanding, acceptance and cooperation between the organization and its publics. It involves the management of problems or issues and helps the management to keep informed on the response of the public and its opinions on its activities. It defines and emphasizes the responsibility of the management to serve the public interests at large. It helps the managements and the firms to keep abreast of the effective utilization of its resources, managing the exchanges and it also serves as an early warning system to anticipate the trends. The trends which can catch a firm so suddenly uh, and uh, it might end up making losses. It uses research and also sound ethical communication for its uh, methods of reaching out to the people. To sum up, it's the management function which establishes and maintains a mutually synergistic relationship between the organization and the publics with whom the organization is coming in contact directly or indirectly. Public relations is a practice of managing the spread of information between an individual or an organization such as a business, the government agency or a non-profit organization and the public. The public relations in, may include an organization or an individual gaining exposure to its audience using the topics of general public interest and the news items that do not require any direct payment. This differentiates it from advertisement as the form of communication. In the advertisements, usually what happens is the sponsor is directly visible. But in the case of PR, the uh, sponsor or the person uh, does not rely upon the payments to establish a direct one-to-one -one contact. The aim of public relations is to inform the publics, the prospective customers, the investors, partners, employees and other stakeholders and ultimately persuade them to maintain a certain view about the organization, its leaderships, products or political decisions. Public relations typically work for the firms and they are professional organizations. They work for the businesses, the companies, the government agencies and also non-government organizations including the non-profit organizations. Public relations specialists establish and maintain relationships within an organization's target audience, the media and other opinion leaders. Common activities include designing, communication campaigns, writing news releases and other content for the news, featured articles, working with the press, arranging interviews for the firms and also writing speeches for the company's leaders acting as organizations, spokespersons by speaking in public and public officials. It also helps in preparing the clients for press conferences, media, interviews, speeches, website design, social media planning, 
and facilitating even the internal communication within the employees. The public relations professional must understand the publics with whom he is communicating with and also be in a position to effectively address the concerns of the people whom he is interacting with. Ivy Lee and Edward Lewis Burnley established the first definition of public relations as early as 1900 and they called it as a management function which tabulates public attitude, defines the policies, procedures and interests of an organization followed by executing a program of action to earn public understanding and acceptance. However, when PR pioneer Ivy Lee was later asked about his role in a hearing in United Transmit Commission, he said, I've never been able to find a satisfactory phrase to describe what I do. In 1948, historian Eric Goldman noted that the definition of public relations in Webster's would be disputed by both practitioners as well as critics in the field. There have been many definitions of public relations and without getting into uh, learning each one of them, let us just recapitulate the latest one. That is in 2012, PRSA has developed the crowdsource definition in which it calls public relations as a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics. Hence, public relations is basically a practice of managing communication between an organization and its public. Public relations projects are planned and sustained to establish and maintain goodwill and mutual understanding between an organization and its public. It includes promotional activities that work to create a strong public image of the company. Public relations activities help the public to understand the company and its products. Public relations, if done right, can reach a large audience without the expensive cost of traditional advertising and marketing. The various functions of public relations can be stated as public relations leads to establishing the relationship among the two groups, that is, the organization and the public. It is an art or science of developing reciprocal understanding and goodwill. It analyzes the public perception and attitudes, identifies the organization policy with public interest, and then executes the programs for communication with the public. There is no single PR strategy that every company can follow, and PR strategy of different companies is custom tailored as any well-executed marketing plan should be. The more commonly used techniques are press release and media alerts. Press releases are an excellent way of updating the public about recent changes regarding a business and its products. They are often distributed online. Websites such as PR Web allow the company to distribute the press releases throughout major news sites and search engines extremely quickly. Media alerts are similar to press releases. Instead of providing information about a company changes or products, the company would inform the media about a conference or event that it is holding. The idea behind this is to encourage photographers or reporters to attend, providing exposure for the company. Press tours. Identify the important and influential journalists or bloggers within an industry, then provide a reason to get them to meet with the company or simply have a conversation. Create an interesting and newsworthy topic to do with the business for them to write about, aiming to make it interesting enough to the readers of the journalist or the blogger. Hopefully, the company will then be put in front of the readers that are directly interested in its particular niche. Trade shows. Attending trade shows specific to your industry is an excellent method for networking with influential people. It allows you to build up connections, develop your brand and generate interest in your company. Email marketing. Whilst this technique is often heavily associated with internet marketing, it often plays a key role within a PR expert's toolkit. The idea is to create a database of potential and existing customers. 
You will then use it to email them with information regarding your industry or present them with your new products. Social networking. With the recent rise in active social media users, the purpose of social media from a business perspective has risen dramatically. The idea is to build and maintain relationships with potential and existing customers. Let us move on to discuss the public relation process. The RACE, RACE approach, describes public relations as a four-step, continually cycling process. It involves R, research. This involves probing the opinions, attitudes, and reactions of those concerned with the acts and policies of an organization, then evaluating the inflow. This task also requires determining facts regarding the organization. What is our problem? A. Action. Action uses the research findings to determine the best course of action, plan responses, and then implement the plans. Some race proponents call this step assessment instead of action, but they invariably include the same activities. C. Communication. Communication takes advantage of all available media to deliver carefully focused messages through the most appropriate channels so that they can have positive effects on each of the organization's publics. E. Evaluation. During the evaluation stage, an analysis is done to see what has been done during the first three steps and how it affected the public and their perception of the organization. Once this step is completed, there is a return to the research step to begin the process again. Some alternative approaches have reconfigured the steps in the process. Others just renamed them. PACE is one of the several approaches that essentially kept the same four steps in its description of the public relations process, but gave one or more of the steps a new name, where P is planning, A is action, C is communication, and E is evaluation. ACE and a few other approaches claim to simplify public relations by combining the first two steps and reducing it to a three-step process, wherein A is assessment, which includes research and planning, C is communication, and E is evaluation. There are three common models which are used to understand public relations. And those models are, the first one is called the GRACE model, the second one, the STAIR model, and the third one is the ROSIE model. Let's try to understand each one of them. The GRACE model says that uh, the steps for public relations basically involve five stages. Those stages are, firstly, G stands for goal setting based on the organization's mission. The goals of PR cannot be different from the organizational goals. Hence, there must be a harmony between the two. R stands for research. Public relations is not something that is happening ad hocly or that is happening in an unplanned way. You really need to have research inputs of understanding the publics and then finding out ways and means so that you can really build relationships with those publics. A stands for assessment and planning based upon the research findings. With research inputs based on the facts, you ultimately plan your activities and then C stands for communication and E stands for evaluation. Hence, GRACE approach is about finding out, developing a professional research-based uh, approach towards building the public relations. Almost on similar lines, we have a STAIR approach which has a five steps as S stands for scanning the environment. You see, many a times, you see, we might miss out a very important opportunity uh, which could be an early forewarning system. But if you have proper systems in place for environmental scanning, you can get those forewarning skills of what public mood is and you can take the corrective action. T stands for track media coverage of key issues and public relations. You really don't need to get to people every time. You can also uh, keep a track of the media. Nowadays, since social media is very popular, so what all is happening on social media about your firm, about your products, if you can monitor that, you really get a feel of what people are thinking and what they're talking about you. A stands for analyze what scanning and tracking reveals. So depending upon what you have found from the media, you must do some analysis. R is developing the adequate response mechanism and E stands for evaluation. 
Another step is the Rosie step, which was developed by Professor Sheila Klo, uh, Chris Farsi, and R stands for research. Again, the starting point of any PR activity is research, O for objectives and goal setting, S for strategies and planning, I implementation, and E stands for evaluation. Now, irrespective of what approach we follow, the main idea or the genesis of these approaches is that whenever we have to establish relationships with the publics, those relationships should not be according to the whims and fancies of the people who are doing so, but there must be adequate research-based inputs inputs based on the facts which can be used for developing those relationships. In today's competitive market and uncertain economic climate, effective PR can help in managing reputation by communicating and building good relationships with all the organizational stakeholders. Each public of a firm share an exclusive two-way relationship with the company and by effectively understanding this relationship and managing it, there can be a mutually beneficial uh, relationship for both the firm as well as the public. The publics of a company have been divided into two categories, internal publics and external publics. Each of the publics of a company share an exclusive two-way relationship with the company. Let us see how both parties benefit each other. Internal publics include shareholders or investors, employees, suppliers, distributors, retailers, dealers, and other business associations comprising of promoters, management consultants, lawyers, solicitors, auditors, friends, and family members of the directors of the company and the advisors of the company. Let us now understand some of the publics which uh, a firm has to deal with. The first publics Amongst the most important ones are the shareholders or the investors. Shareholders are the legal owners of the company or a firm and they deserve a fair treatment and must be provided with statutory information, information related to transfer of shares and any other information which they require from time to time. Employees. Employees are the ones who give the best to the firm. Hence, there must be a very healthy congenial communication between the employees and the firms. The principle of self-respect, self-determination and self-judgment must be followed while dealing with the employees. Suppliers. We usually concentrate more on marketing, marketing to the customers who are outside the organizations. But reverse marketing is as important as marketing to the uh, outside consumers. Reverse marketing basically is about marketing your company to reliable suppliers. Because without proper inputs, you can't convert a proper finished product. So suppliers are the business associates who are the partners to a business and who contribute to the success of a business and there must be a very healthy understanding between the supplier and the firms. Similarly, the people into the distribution channel, the distributors, the retailers, the dealers, each one of them has got a very important role in this entire process of marketing. Hence. The firms need to understand those uh, organizations and they must also uh, keep a communication between them uh, from time to time. Otherwise, the marketing strategy will not be properly implemented into the marketplaces. Besides these people who are into direct business relationships with the firms, the other associations which a firm usually has is with its promoters, with its management consultants, lawyers, solicitors, auditors, friends, and even family members of the directors of companies and advisors. Now, all of them need the information pertaining to the publications, annual reports, new issues, preferential issues, etc. from time to time so that the, uh, they are in communication with the firm. External publics of a company comprises of people and organizations that are its clients and are doing business with it. External publics concentrate on issues pertaining to the values, policies, procedures, and attitude of the company towards various groups of people in society. External publics of a company includes customers. A customer is not a means of business, but he is the purpose of business. Customer education, market research, public opinion polls, 
customer satisfaction level after sales services and constant relations is a must for the company to the public. For example, special customers meet, free servicing by Whirlpool washing machine, etc. Community. Protecting the interest of the community is the essence of community relations. In gratitude to the public, the companies need to provide various types of services such as education service, sewage and sanitation facilities, donations, supporting infrastructure system and such other activities. Mass media. Mass media gives mass exposure to the company's activities. It includes print media and electronic media. The reputation of the company greatly depends upon the interaction of its PR managers. The government. The relationship between the government and the corporates are on a decline because the individual interests of the corporates clash. Government and its machinery can be divided into two categories depending on their characteristics like politicians and bureaucrats. For example, the sugar and steel industry as a whole makes substantial donations to political parties to seek favors after elections. Financial institutions. To understand a company's plan in a better way, financial institutions rely more on technical and financial collaboration and market productions of the company. Timely submission of progress reports, payment of principal and interest amount, and keeping financial institutions abreast with the latest relevant information further helps the company to strengthen its credibility and goodwill with the financial institutions. Action groups. An action group is a group of people that work together to try to achieve changes relating to a particular situation or in order to help a particular group of people. They have high ego and esteem profile because of power, credibility and the ability to influence the masses like Tarun Tejpal or Neera Radhya. General public. The general public is very influential. Companies need to show interest on social issues such as illiteracy, environment protection, pollution control to improve the quality of life of the public and not just their product or brand. For example, Parley Beverages Limited or Cadbury India Limited have suffered massive setbacks whenever they got involved in controversies. In today's competitive market and uncertain economic climate, Effective PR can help in managing reputation by communicating and building good relationships with all the organizational stakeholders. Each Publix of a firm share an exclusive two-way relationship with the company and by effectively understanding this relationship and managing it, there can be a mutually beneficial uh, relationship for both the firm as well as the public. According to the Handbook of Journalism and Mass Communication, publicity can be broadly categorized into seven types. News, business feature articles, service feature articles, financial publicity, product publicity, pictorial publicity and emergency publicity. News, the most common type of publicity is news of local, regional or national interest. There are two types of news publicity, spontaneous news and planned news. Spontaneous news publicity originates from an unplanned event such as a strike in an organization, major accident, fire, explosion, flood or drought, etc. News media are notified and they may send reporters, photographers and camera crew to the news source. Planned news publicity originates in the day-to-day -day developments and occurrences within an organization which may be of news value and public interest. News releases are prepared and distributed by public relations staff at the headquarters. Business feature articles. Business feature articles are an important type of publicity published by business, trade and technical media prepared by industrial firms to support their marketing objectives. A business feature defines problems common to an industry and describes solutions to these problems. A business feature may be developed from speeches, 
discussing product applications. Independent writers or freelancers, writers and photographers whose work is coordinated by a member of the public relations staff prepare many business features. Service feature article. Service feature article is written to provide newspaper and magazine readers with information, advice and suggestions on home, fashion, health, food, beauty care, etc. Financial publicity. Financial news releases feature annual and quarterly reports, annual meetings, new products and other financial news, which are the examples of many news releases and feature articles appearing on the financial pages of daily newspapers and financial magazines. These are a kind of financial publicity. Product publicity gives information about complex technical products or services to the consumers to enable them to choose intelligently from a wide variety of products on the market. Pictorial publicity. It is publicity through pictures in still photographs by newspapers and magazines. Many companies maintain cameramen for photographic covering of special events. Emergency publicity. To ensure proper handling of media relations during an emergency, the Public Relations Department should prepare in advance a carefully considered emergency publicity program. At times you must be coming across certain news items uh, wherein you are told that if you consume a particular product you get some uh, benefits. Medical research has found that these are the benefits which come to you if you consume this particular product or if you use this particular product. And at times we are surprised that uh, this doesn't go in line with the traditional wisdom. So why do you think such news items appear in the media from time to time? Simply because somebody is trying to mold the public opinion and is trying to mold the public opinion through a different method. Now this method is not by coming directly as a sponsor or as a person who has bought the space and is paying for that. It's about staying at the background hidden subliminal communication wherein you are not visible directly but you are trying to mold an opinion you're trying to generate positive or negative image about a idea about a product or about anything so uh, this entire process is known as publicity publicity is basically also a type of a promotion that relies upon public relations and also uses news and also uses certain other ways and means in the free mass media wherein the objective is not just sales promotion but creation of an image. Usually you see uh, many things such as articles, write-ups, uh, commentaries etc. they can be used for uh, uh, the publicity of the firms. Publicity starts with interaction with clients PR practitioners and journalists, that is, the first four steps as shown in the figure. The process then moves forward with development of a clear statement of the client's objective for pursuing publicity that includes target audiences. It gives a clear statement of the strategy to achieve the objective, messages to be sent to target audiences, and goals for success with tasks specified in advance. To implement a publicity program, a client provides information to the PR practitioner to be used in generating publicity. The PR practitioner evaluates the information for its interest to reporters based on the practitioner's knowledge of the media, the topic, and the marketplace. If the information is of low or no interest to the media, the practitioner counsels then works with the client to find more information or to develop a creative way to make the information interesting. This involves developing a story angle or a media pitch that the practitioner uses to approach reporters. Or it can involve writing and editing a news release or staging an event to attract media attention. Let us recapitulate what we have learned in this module. Public relations is considered as art or science because it leads to establishing the relationship among the two groups. The various tools of public relations include press release, media tours, press alerts, etc. among others. 
The publics of a company have also been divided into internal and external publics depending upon their dealings with the company. Publicity is communication written and produced by public relations professionals intended to create a favorable public image for a client. So to sum up, I would like to say that publicity is one of the important methods of communicating with the clients wherein you really don't come out and open but you uh, stay at the subliminal level, you stay at the background, you stay behind the curtains and from there you're trying to create a favorable image, mold public opinion, build a positive uh, uh, say uh, understanding about your firm, about the products, about the solutions that you offer so that when you directly approach before the consumer, at least a consumer has a precognition, a consumer has a basic background, internal information available to him or her through the internal search and is able to formulate a positive opinion about you when you approach the customer directly.